The Department for Work and Pensions DWP, has been urged to audio record personal independence payment PIP, assessments as standard, with an opt-out option for claimants. Chair of the Work and Pensions Committee, Sir Stephen Timms MP, reiterated the recommendation to have recordings made by default in a report made by the cross-party group of MPs last year. Last April, the DWP announced plans to move to a new telephony platform during 2024 and make enhancements to the video assessment application, which would provide the ability to record all disability health benefit consultations. However, the recommendation has not yet been put in place. During a parliamentary debate on disability benefits before Easter recess, Sir Stephen said, PIP assessments should routinely be recorded. We know that the assessments very often go wrong, we have heard lots of examples of that already, but we do not know why. They should routinely be recorded with an opt-out available for claimants who do not want a recording to be taken. The East Ham MP added, all the providers agree with that proposal, but for some reason the government will not accept it. The minister's predecessor gave a number of reasons, which were all valid but all surmountable. Because we do not record the assessments, we do not know what is going on, so the problems just carry on and will not be fixed. Shadow Minister for Disabled People, Vicky Foxcroft MP acknowledged Sir Stephen's comments in her statement. She said, I have heard him say this many times, why do we not just make sure that assessments are recorded as standard? That is a simple thing that can be done straight away. Responding to the comments, Minister for Disabled People, Health, and Work, Mims Davis MP explained that PIP assessments can be recorded, but claimants need to ask for it to be done before the consultation take place. Ms Davis said, the chair of the select committee, the right Hon. Member for East Ham, Sir Stephen Timms, asked about audio recording. We have taken an opt-in approach, but I am happy to go away and look at the specific point that he raised. Sir Stepien responded, I am grateful to the minister for picking up my point about default recording and for her offer to look into it. When she does so, will she bear it in mind that all the companies that provide these assessments favor default recordings? The DWP minister said he made a good point, adding, the companies want to get it right and they are keen to do what is right. I am very happy to look at that, feed back to him my thoughts and pick that issue up in the department under my tenure. Of course we aim to make the right decision as early as possible. We recognize that the numbers are high. If you have a PIP assessment due over the next few weeks, remember that you can ask for it to be audio recorded, but you need to advise DWP in advance of the consultation date. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily record money WhatsApp community.